The governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifan Yokoa, has said that the ongoing construction of Coca flyover and interchange in Asaba, the state capital, will be completed before the end of 2022. Okoa made this statement while speaking to newsmen shortly after inspecting the project in Asaba, Delta State adding that the construction of the flyover along the benin Onicha Expressway is to ease traffic gridlock along the Coca Junction corridor. Because they are giving us a January 2023 finish date. Uh, and I'm telling them I'm not comfortable with that. Because I, I would at least like to have the project commissioned during my time. Uh, January 2023, there will be a lot of campaign. We may not even have time to talk about commission of projects also putting both the ministry and the contractor on pressure to finish on time they finish with quality work that that is the first and most important thing to me it's not about politics i said while i play politics i will not forget that deltans actually voted me in to serve them so until the very last day 28th of may i'll be focused on that aspect of service to the people Meanwhile, in a related development, the state coordinator of Progressive Ambassador, Comrade Aso Samo, has faulted the present leadership system of the P PDP in the state. The coordinator, while speaking in Ugeli South local government area of Delta State, called on Deltans to vote out PDP in the forthcoming governorship election come 2023. Someone noted that the failure of the government since the inception of democracy in 1999 has caused a decay in societal values. The insecurity and poor governance is the manifestation of the failure of previous administrations in the national. And to see development as a process, which failed to see development as a process rather than a project. Government that does not provide citizens the enabling environment to excel, pursue their dreams in life, that are all encompassing the problems we are facing in society today. Give you an insight why APC has to come on board. If it were an APC government, gully erosion can be tackled from the inception because the longer it takes, the more expensive and the more difficult it is to stop. I believe from precedence that by the end of this year, this new year that we're just entering, that gully would have grown probably five times what it is right now and that the government would not have done anything. But if it were an APC government, I do not think the gov that government will be there now. To say that the party is working as one. And the little we have seen with the PDP as a party ruling Delta State, they are not carrying the youths along, there are no programs for them, and we must have had those our senators from the APC are carrying this news along. And by that, if Deltans are for APC, definitely they will take the news. We have gone beyond the stages of just based on criticizing the government, but it is important for us also, instead of sitting on the fence, mm -hmm. to be part of the system to be part of the government, see how we can get some elective positions, and the cleansing we are looking for, we can still do it from the inside. But if we are outside, we cannot make any meaningful, uh, meaningful um, thing out of our criticism. So let us join hands together with the government of the day and see how best possible we can to help the government and to help Nigerian uh, citizens as a whole. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.